and welcome to this short and snappy about Girl Scout traditions. Thank you so much for joining us today. So a brief overview about this video. It is roughly seven minutes long and through it we hope you'll learn what are our Girl Scout traditions, when do we use them, and how to incorporate them into your virtual troop meetings. One of our most well-known traditions is the Girl Scout sign, or as some people call it, the promise sign. The girls will use their right hand, hold up three fingers with their pinky down and their thumb across their pinky. Each finger represents the three parts of the promise. The girls should stand when they say it, and it can be said at the opening of a meeting, during the meeting, or before the meeting is over. It's really up to you and it's up to the girls. When you're hosting a virtual troop meeting, you may want to think about opening the meeting with the promise so girls get into the mindset that it's Girl Scout time, even though this meeting looks different than the meetings they were used to before. If you're new to this and you're just starting out and a virtual meeting is brand new to everybody, you can certainly do the promise whenever you'd like or when the girls would like. So there is a Girl Scout motto and a Girl Scout slogan. Our motto is to be prepared. From the 1947 Girl Scout Handbook, a Girl Scout is ready to help out whenever she's needed. Willingness to serve is not enough. You must know how to do the job well, even in an emergency. If you're at a virtual meeting, you can tell the girls some things maybe they should do ahead of time, and then say you should be prepared for our next meeting. And that's a way you can incorporate this into a virtual meeting. And then for the slogan, it's do a good turn daily. Girl Scouts has been using this since we started in 1912, and it's a reminder how Girl Scouts contribute to the lives of others. Maybe during your virtual meeting, you could ask the girls, tell me something good you did today for someone else. If they don't have anything to say that meeting, maybe by the next meeting, they will, because they're going to want to make sure they tell you the good thing that they did. Another Girl Scout tradition that you'll see at meetings, events, ceremonies, camp, is the Girl Scout quiet sign. This happens when who's ever in charge puts up an open hand. It will have all five fingers extended and that's because it represents the fifth part of the Girl Scout law, which is to be responsible for what I say and do or to be courteous to your fellow Girl Scouts. This is the sign you will use to quiet a room. So if you're doing a meeting virtually, teach the girls what that means right away and then if you put your hand up in the screen, they know that it's time to quiet down and listen to you. Another tradition is the Girl Scout handshake. Girl Scouts use this to greet one another and it can be used at a ceremony after they receive an award like a bronze, silver, or gold award or even at a court of awards ceremony after they've gotten some badges and some awards for their work during the year. This is used by Girl Scouts and Girl Guides all over the world. You shake hands with your left hand and make the Girl Scout sign with the right hand. The left hand is nearest to the heart and signifies friendship. If you're doing a virtual Girl Scout meeting, you can certainly have the girls pretend to be shaking hands with each other, put their right hand up, and shake their hand in front of the screen. They may feel like it's a little silly, but it's a great tradition, and then when you are able to meet in person, you'll be able to use it with no problem. Another popular tradition is the Girl Scout Friendship Circle. This is an unbroken chain of friendship. It is used by Girl Scouts and Girl Guides all over the world. The girls will stand in a circle and put their right hand over their left and clasp the hands of the girls next to them. Then whoever starts the circle, if it's a troop leader or maybe it's a particular girl that you chose that day, she'll start the squeeze and pass the squeeze around. Sometimes you can have the girls say, what's something you really enjoyed in the meeting today? Or did you make a new friend? Or tell us something you're really looking forward to for the next meeting. And then they pass the squeeze and the next girl will go. After the whole circle is done and the friendship squeeze has been passed all the way around, you can say, good night Girl Scouts and turn around and then everybody lets go. And this signifies that the meeting is over. If you're hosting a virtual meeting, you can easily have the girls again pretend to hold hands through their screen. They can maybe say which girl they're standing next to and whose hand they're holding. Or maybe they 
hold the hand of their mom and their sister who happen to be in the room, or maybe they're holding the hands of their stuffed animals. It doesn't matter. They may feel a little goofy at first again, but they'll get used to that. So then when you do meet in person and you say, hey, it's time for a friendship squeeze, everybody's going to know what you're talking about. Another long-standing Girl Scout tradition is called SWAPS. And SWAPS stands for Special Whatchamacallits Affectionately Pinned Somewhere. You can do these swaps in a virtual meeting if you give the girls a list of the supplies they'll need and then you can make it with them over the computer. It doesn't have to be something that you necessarily do in person. You just want to make sure that this virtual swap meeting, that that particular swap is a little bit easier to do than if you were in person with the girls or if they're younger, ask mom or dad or maybe an older sibling to sit in the room with them and help them. So what is a swap? A swap is a small token of friendship that the girls can exchange with each other when they meet each other at camp or an event, service unit event, maybe a Girl Scout meeting, anything like that. It can reflect the girl's community, her country, or maybe her troop. Maybe the troop are really into teddy bears and she makes a small teddy bear that she can exchange with another girl. So there is some swap safety and etiquette to be aware of. The girls should never refuse a swap from another Girl Scout. They should swap face to face and hand each other the items. Don't put any glass or anything sharp on there that could hurt the girl. You don't want to put any food on there that could turn bad when it gets stored away. It's not recommended to spend too much money on a swap as you'll be making a large amount of them. Whenever you go to an event, you're going to want to make sure that the girls have enough to swap with multiple Girl Scouts. And the swap should be worn or displayed somewhere. So some girls make themselves a hat and put, pin all the swaps to the hat. Other girls may have it on a jacket or a, a pillow or something like that. So during this short and snappy, we hope you learned why Girl Scout traditions are important, how to do them and what they mean, and how you can incorporate them into a virtual meeting. Thank you so much for taking the time to increase your knowledge as a Girl Scout troop leader. If you have any questions or want to suggest a short and snappy idea that's not already on our training page, please email us at customercare at gsnc.org.